morning everyone and thank you for joining me again today. So look what has just arrived in the post. A box from Charlotte Tilbury and I bet you can guess what's in it. Yes, that's right. The new reimagined, whatever that means, we shall find out, Rebel palette and the new Queen of Glow palette. And I picked up another couple of things because I'll tell you why in a minute. Okay, so let's get opening this box. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put on the exact same base that I did yesterday. Um, and that is Flawless Foundation, Flawless Airbrush Foundation, uh, Magic Away. I'll put all the details in the description bar so that you can see that. So we can get on with having a look at these palettes. Okay, so I'll see you again in a minute. I'm back. Now, before I make myself up with one of these palettes, I thought I would do you a swap. I, sorry, I still haven't done my nails. Haven't had time. So please don't look at my nails. They are disgusting. Look at that. So I'm showing you them. But hey, I'm keeping it real. All right? Can't do everything all at once. I'll probably take my nail varnish remover to my dad's hospital and take them off there. Anyway, let's get on. So um, I'm going to show you and I'm going to swatch the two palettes first. And then I will time stamp at the end so that you can go to the sections that you want to do. Um, I'll swatch the palettes first, then I'll do a few immediate comparisons. These were the things that struck me before I even received the palette. I, I suspect there are more comparisons to be had on some of Charlotte's larger palettes. But today I'm just sticking with the quads and I will come back to any other comparisons at a later stage. All right, so first on in, let's look at Queen of Glow. I was so excited by this because I love palettes like this. So here is Queen of Glow. Now, I'm going to do some comparison swatches in a minute. But the first thing I thought about when I looked at this was Vintage Vamp and the new palette of Pops in Celestial Beauty. And of course, I meant Celestial Eyes. Those are the two that screamed out at me. So I'm going to do some comparisons with that. Okay, but let me just first swatch this for you. So first on in, you can see I have not touched it at all. It's completely pristine. First on in, we have the prime shade. Is she prime enhanced smoke pop again? She is. Right, so we have the smoke shade. And again, I will swatch it on the lightest part of my arm. It is a stunning gold. I have a feeling that my sister might like this because she was looking for a gold like that. So that's the prime shade. So you can see this is going to be a really nice one for Christmas. Then the enhanced shade is a darker gold. Whoa, look at that for pigment. Very pigmented, very creamy. Okay, and then we have the smoke shade, which is quite looks quite dark in the pan. And I'm interested to see interested to see how it's going to swatch because I love these burgundy colours. That is stunning. I love it. I love it. I love it. And then we have the pop shade, which again looks beautiful. It's kind of a pinky gold, sort of more of a rosy gold than the others. So can you see that? Okay, so I'm going to put a picture here. And I'll be right back. Okay, really excited to try that. Now, the next one is the Rebel Reimagined, it's called. So, um, obviously, the obvious comparison with this is the Rebel, the initial, original Rebel palette. But another thing popped out at me when I saw this immediately was her palette of pops that she bought out last year in Starlight. So I'm going to compare it with that. I do suspect that there's a few more dupes in her larger palettes and I will have a look at those, as I said, and put that in another video. So let's go in and swatch these first. So first on in, we have the prime shade. Again, feels very creamy and I'm gonna swatch them on this arm. Okay, so that is the prime shade. And that is a lot golder than, it's quite warm actually. That's a lot sort of more yellow gold than the other prime shade with the other palette. Then we have 
the enhanced shade, which is that and lovely khaki, as you can see. And then we have the smoke shade, which almost looks grey, actually. Grey, brown and a bit of green. OK, and then we have the pop shade. Which doesn't feel like a pop shade, it feels like the others. It doesn't have that emollience to it. All right, so I'm going to take a photograph to, of that and I'll be right back. Okay, so first one then, let's have a look at the new green pop shade. Now, as I said, the, the first thing I thought of when looking at this, I'm just going to use one of these boxes to cover the mirror is Vintage Vamp. So let's have a look at it next to Vintage Vamp. I'm just going to try and hold that up for you. So here is Vintage Vamp. So here is the new palette in Queen of Glow and here is Vintage Vamp. So they do look quite similar actually, especially the pop shade and the, sorry, the smoke shades look quite similar and also the prime shade of the new one looks very like the pop shade of Vintage Vamp. So those two shades, I think, scream out as quite similar. I think Vintage Vamp smoke shade is slightly darker. Um, but let me just swatch those two shades so that you can see. Oops, excuse me. Knocking my camera. So here is the smoke shade of the new palette, the Queen of Glow. That again. Okay, and then here is the smoke shade of Vintage Vamp. So they do look very, very similar. And actually, though, interestingly enough, even though this one looked darker in the pan, it looks slightly lighter. That's Vintage Vamp. That is Queen of Glow. It actually looks lighter when I put it on the skin, but that is definitely Vintage Vamp smoke. And this is Queen of Glow smoke. Mm. <laughs> Try not to get confused. Now, in terms of the other two that I said were quite similar. So I think the um, Enhance, which one was it? Yes, the Enhance shade of Queen of Glow reminds me a little bit, although I think on here it's going to be ori more orangey. It reminds me a little bit of the pop shade of Vintage Vamp. But let's just see when you swatch it. No, not really. So it's, this one's a lot more neutral, the pop shade. And it's a different formula, obviously. But these two smoke shades are very similar. And as you can see, just generally, it's quite a similar colour scheme. So if you like Vintage Vamp, you are going to like this palette, but it's not going to be exactly the same. And what is good about this new palette is if you like Vintage Vamp, but you find the enhanced shade is a bit dark for you, but you do want a dark shade to kind of tuck in the corner, then this Queen of Glow palette is for you, definitely. Now, the other thing that it reminded me of a lot was her new palette of pops in Celestial Glow. Oh, Ali, it's Celestial Eyes. I'm just checking I've got the right palette. Um, where is the, yes, Celestial Eyes, sorry, not Celestial Glow. So let's hold up those two together. Now, as you can see, I think that this is like a pop version of this. So these two would work really well together, but don't forget these are pop shades. They're very emollient and therefore they are going to work in a slightly different way, better with fingers than this. But these two together would go perfectly. So if you like your celestial palette of pops, but you want to have a kind of day look and then amp it up for the evening, then these two palettes would work really well together. So let me just show you 
where I think the similarities are there. So I'm just going to show you the um, smoke shade of Celestial Eyes palette of pops and I'll put it this side here. So you can see that looks very similar. So we've got Celest Celestial Eyes, Queen of Glow, Vintage Vamp. So very similar smoke shades there. Okay, I'm trying not to get myself confused. Now, then we have, um, we have, um, I'm just looking here at the Celestial Eyes Pop Shade which looks quite similar to the enhanced shade of Queen of Glow. So let me just swatch that here. Yes, that is quite similar, um, but it's more of a topper. So I can imagine that going over that. Okay. And then um, what else have we got? Let's have a look at this pop shade again in Queen of Glow. That's the pop shade, which really doesn't feel like a pop shade, actually. It doesn't feel like it's got that emollience of her normal pop shades. It feels like you need to put that on with a brush. I wonder if she stopped putting the emollient pops in these palettes because of her palette of pops. That's a good question. Um, and then I think that's quite similar to the prime shade of celestial eyes let me see no that's more a lot pinker okay but you can see that all in all if you held all of these palettes together i'm just going to show you again queen of glow there's queen of glow there is celestial palette of pops and here is vintage vamp they're all quite similar colour scheme okay um i did check out the other palette of pops in supersonic girl but it's a lot lighter and it's not really um doesn't really compare all right then we're going to move on quickly and compare the rebel palette okay i'm having some problems with my video so i cannot fix it it's really annoying me but i'm going to speak up and then lower my voice because at the beginning of each section my voice is suddenly quiet and then goes up. I have no idea how to fix it. If anyone knows, please leave a comment below. It's been driving me potty, but I need to get on now and finish this video. So let's get on to the Rebel palette. Well, it, the obvious comparison obviously is the old Rebel palette. Now here is the new one. Here is the old one. Now, as you can see, the old one is a lot brighter. Now, Charlotte did actually um, base this on a kind of 70s look which was a lot greener and uh, whatever but as you can see this is a lot more of a muted updated look now there is another palette that this reminded me of and that was the palette of pops in starlight so I'm going to get you that and I'm going to try not to turn this camera off because if I do then I'm going to have to speak up again at the beginning there's the Starlight palette of Pops and there is the new Rebel palette. Now these definitely reminded me of one another and again I think would work beautifully um, on top this one as a topper on top of this. So let me just show you some of the similarities. So um, they're all sort of pretty similar hues as you can see but if I just take these two green shades the real kind of true car keys. I think you'll see what I'm talking about. So here is the enhanced shade. Excuse me, let me just rub that off. The enhanced shade of the new Rebel palette. And then I'm gonna show you the pop shade of Starlight palette of pops. And I think you'll be able to see, hopefully, that they're quite similar, all right? Um, and again, just to show you, this one is a, a bit darker. So this one is a smoke shade of Starlight palette of pops. But that one actually looks like the smoke shade of the new Rebel palette. So let me show you there. Very similar. 
okay? Now, the, the prime shade doesn't look like anything in here, really. Um, and I would say those are the two, but they're very similar spectrum. So I think you could work with both of these together and they're very similar palettes. But this is a different formula. Don't forget that. So this is more to be used with your fingers. It's more emollient, whereas this one is more of your regular quad. And again, this pop shade doesn't feel emollient like her old pop shades. So I really think my, my conclusion to these new palettes is that she's taken out pop shades. They may be called pop, but they're not the emollient pop shades that were in her original palettes. And if you want to use an emollient pop shade, you'll have to go to Starlight for this one and you'll have to go to Celestial Eyes for the Queen of Glow. Is it called the Queen of Glow? I'm sorry, I'm so flustered now um, because of um, all the problems I've been having with my microphone. So I'm just going to get on now and do a very quick look and I will be back. I've been so held up trying to fix this microphone. I'm just going to keep running and I'm going to edit out what I need to edit out. And that way the sound won't go off again um, until I've managed to fix it. OK, so let's get going with this look. And I am going to use today the new Queen of Glow. Is it called Queen of Glow? Yes, it is. I'm right. It is called Queen of Glow. So I'm going to go in with that. OK, so... Queen of Glow, and look, this is creased already. It's going to be one of those days, and I did powder over the top, but never mind. I am going to set it shortly. So first on in, I'm going to go in with the, the prime shade of Queen of Glow and put that over my entire lid and see what it looks like. I'm so excited to try this, and as... I suspected it is beautiful. This shade actually also reminds me of another limited edition palette that Charlotte bought out for Christmas a couple of years ago called Legendary Muse. In fact, the first two shades remind me of that. And I will have a look at that one as well when I do some further comparisons. Um, the, the enhanced shade also reminds me a lot of that very Christmassy look and then I'm going to go in with the enhanced shade and I'm going to again put that all over yeah this is very light legendary muse until you get to the smoke shade so this just warms it up apologies to those of you that are desperate for a cool palette you're going to get that in the rebel I think and I bet you all thought I was going to use the rebel palette didn't you because because I'm wearing green, but I've also got burgundy underneath. So there is the enhanced shade, and I'm just sort of putting that into the socket and the outer corner like so. Again, really easy to blend, really, really easy. And I'm gonna take some of that enhanced shade and I'm gonna take it underneath. And because it's quite a light shade, I'm gonna take it all the way along because it's quite eye brightening. And then I'm going to take this lovely smoke shade and I'm going to dab it on the outer corner. I love this shade. I love deep burgundy shades. And Charlotte does them so well. They never look muddy. I find that with some other brands, when you, you start getting into the darker shades, they either look black or they look muddy. And then I'm just going to blend that out with my blending brush. Now, I'll be interested to see what happens with this pop shade because it really isn't an emollient pop shade. It's like a, a regular eyeshadow shade. I just take a little bit of that. I think I've still got some on my brush. Take that below, halfway along. Right, and I will do the other side on fast forward. Okay. 
Okay, so that is that. And then I'm going to take a bit of the prime shade with my little finger and I'm just gonna pop some of that on the brow bone like so and on the other side like so now i am going to dip into this as though it is a pop shade and see what happens when i put it on my lid as i said it doesn't feel like an emollient pop shade and i'm just going to dot that over the entire mobile lid to finish off but i actually think that this would apply better with a brush because it is not a pop shade in the sense of the formula so that is the big change with charlotte tilbury is these quads do not have the emollient rub with your finger pop shade in them anymore definitely not they are the normal powder very nice formula but not the pop shades now, if you want to put a pop shade over, obviously, then you go in with your palette of pops in Celestial Eyes, which I may do later because I'm going out. But obviously, you all want to see this, and therefore, I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to leave it as it is. I'm just putting a little bit more of that pop shade on with my brush, like so. So, it's a beautiful look. I love it. It's obviously, um, you know, a lot of people will be saying same old warm shades, but I do love the burgundies and I'm going to actually, um, no, I'm going to use my feline flick pen and um, a few other products and I'll be right back in a jiffy. Okay, I'm speaking up again in case it does it, but I just did it on the last clip and it didn't do it. So it looks like I'm shouting at the beginning. It's going to be one of those days. I lost my um, eye cheat and it was in with my lip cheats. And it's just going to be one of those days. Anyway, so I've done the eye look and I'm now just going to finish off by doing a bit of bronzer. Like so from and I'm just using the gorgeous glowing beauty palette to do some bronzing. Uh, very quick because I need to go and see my dad before I go out this evening and then I'm just going to bend off camera and edit this bit out okay and then I'm going to put on a mixture of the the swish and pop blush from the gorgeous glowing beauty palette again and because this all kind of fits in very similar tones and then I am going to finish off again with scarlet spell um, because I just think it works really well. The other one that would work really well is Confident Lips. In fact, let me show you Confident Lips because you saw Scarlet Spell yesterday. And so I will put Confident Lips on for you. Okay, so I'm going to use Crazy in Love Lip Cheat. And then I'm going to fill in my lips. Because that will enable this lipstick to last longer. It's really lovely and moisturising but it doesn't last as long as her matte revolutions. And incidentally, this lip liner, I've said it in a previous video, Crazy in Love. Let me just finish doing it. This is almost identical to Scarlet Spell. So if you're running short for Christmas and you really want Scarlet Spell, um, but you can't afford it right now, and you have Crazy in Love, you've almost got Scarlet Spell. It's very, very similar. Okay, and then I'm going to put on Confident Lips, which I love, and yet it hasn't seemed to be as popular as some of the other ones. Um, but this is the Superstar Lips in Confident Lips. Now, just before I finish off my conclusion, I love this look. I was going to love this. I knew I was going to love this look because I love the vintage vamp. However, I have to say I'm a little bit disappointed in the fact that the pop shades, as they were originally in their formula, seem to have disappeared from this palette because that is the beauty of Charlotte's quads is that you can kind of amp it up for the night 
and the pop shades have got this unique formula that really glows. I just want to add here that I suspect that Charlotte is doing away with putting the pop shades in her quads, um, these emollient pop shades, and putting them into separate palettes because she has mentioned in the past that those pop shades are more expensive and I've noticed that her palette of pops are £42 and these palettes were £40. So I think she might be trying to separate them to basically recoup the cost of the more expensive emollient pop shades. Now they are beautiful shades, don't get me wrong, but if I wanted to add a real sparkly pop on top, I've now got to carry two palettes. So I was a little bit disappointed in that. And now I know why, because when she talks about it, I've gone to the website, I've looked at the descriptions. She describes this as a kind, kind of sparkly diamond-like formula. And I think that there's some diamond powder in it. Now I'm gonna show you in a, in a second before I go, there are two pictures that I took with the flash and you can actually see the reflection of the diamond powder. So it will give you a lovely reflection in the light, but it's not the same as her original pop formulas. But hopefully you'll have seen the pop, the pop palettes of pops that go with these new palettes. Another comment to end in is I do have a question about the Rebel palette. She hasn't called it anything completely different. So on the back of the palette, it does say the Rebel. So it's left me wondering whether or not she's going to um, do away with the old original Rebel, which would be a shame because the green in it is, although it was never very pigmented, the pop shade, it is a more vibrant green and it would be a shame for that to disappear completely. And I just wonder if she's kind of replaced that Rebel palette because she's not called it Rebel 2. She's not called it Rebel Reimagined on the palette. She's just called it the Rebel. So I wonder when you buy the Rebel look from her site, whether or not now you're going to get the new, more muted version. Um, and that is something to consider. Um, certainly if you've been waiting to get your hands on the original Rebel palette. Okay, now before I go, I just want to show you a couple of other guilty purchases I got and then I'm off to see my dad in the hospital. So first of all, I have I finally succumbed. For those of you that have been following me for a while, you know that I've said, said to you that I often get Christmas presents from my mum, who is no longer with us. But I came into some money again just before Christmas and um, just unexpectedly, and so I bought myself a Christmas present from my mum. It happens every Christmas, come what may. So I just couldn't resist getting the Filmstar Bronze and Glow in the special edition palette, even though I don't really need one right now, but I just wanted to get this. And I just love the brush, this little brush, and it's so handy for being in your bag. It's got lovely taper to it, so it's like... It's very much like her other brush, this one, but it's a smaller version of, and I like that. I really like that because I've got a smaller version of the blush brush, but not of the tapered one. So I really like that. And, um, and there is the bronze and glow palette. You've seen what is it, it looks like inside, but I will show you. So there it is inside. It looks quite fair. I hope it is actually medium to light to medium. Yes, it is. Okay, so there, I've just not got used to seeing it new. So that is that, and to go with it, because I just love this little design and couldn't resist it in the end. 
um, I got the new um, makeup bag that goes with it. Oh, it's in velvet and it looks really luxurious. I think that's actually her best makeup bag yet. I can see it getting quite dirty if you use it a lot. So I'm going to save that one for best because it's got velvet. Um, but it just looks more luxurious than the others, which are cotton. Um, and it's got this lovely rose gold tassel on the bottom. That is a really nice Christmas present for someone. So if you're looking for that, that one was £25. Really nice idea. And it goes with the Bronze and Glow palette. Um, just beautiful. Um, so that was my little treat for my mum. Um, after coming in to get more money at Christmas, um, just before Christmas. And so thank you, Mum, for my Christmas present. And I'm gonna leave it at that, and I'm going to scoot off now to the hospital. And apologies once again about any sound problems that are on this. I'm working hard to try and correct it as soon as possible. But as you know, things are quite hectic for me right now. And I just spent about three quarters of an hour trying to correct it. Hope you've enjoyed Any this. questions, do let me know. And thank you for joining me today. Must go now, but hope this has been useful. If I haven't answered any questions, pop them down below and I'll try and do my best to answer. Thanks very much. Love you all. Mwah!